In this demo, I will cover manually frosting glass. This must be done to give the glass a tooth to draw on. Although the glass that is sold as already frosted may appear level, it's often not, which makes it impossible to get perfect contact during exposure with the polymer plate. Frosting the glass yourself is really the best option. Besides, you'll need to regrain the glass after exposure anyway. Frosting glass by hand requires at least two pieces of clear, quarter-inch thick plate glass. Be sure it isn't UV blocking. Light must be able to travel through the glass to reach the polymer plate. Begin by laying down a sheet of newsprint to help with cleanup. This is a rather messy process. Put some water on top to provide the glass with a little grip. Lay down the first sheet of glass. Sprinkle some 220 grit carborundum on top of the glass. Then pour a little bit of water on. Place the second plate on top. Using pressure, make figure eights with the top sheet of glass, being sure to get the edges on both plates. Keep in mind, this video is sped up to one and a half times the actual speed. If you haven't worked with carborundum before, it's essentially finely ground zinc particles that can be found online at printmaking supply stores, typically used in lithography for graining stones. Periodically, you'll notice the glass will become sluggish. Just lift the plate and add more zinc or water as needed. For the first graining, this can take up to an hour, but the more pressure you use, the faster it goes. Grainings between drawings only take about 30 minutes at the most. In general, you only want to frost one side of the glass. Frosting two sides will create additional plate tone. However, you can do this if you want to draw on both sides. This will create different effects because the back of the glass will allow more light to get in between it and the plate during exposure. Set the plate upright and wash with water. Wipe the edges with your hands because the grit will build up there. Use small circles with your hands to wash the carborundum off the surface of the plate, going first one direction and then the other. Turn the plate over and repeat this for all four sides, wiping the edges and then going back and forth making small circles with your hands to be sure all of the grit has been washed off of the plate. Try to be thorough because residual grit may block light during the exposure process. Don't forget to flip the plate over and wash the back side, the smooth, unfrosted side, as well. I am using a garden hose with a spray attachment because I also use this for screen printing. But you don't need water pressure, a regular hose will work just fine. You can connect it to the sink as I have, or remove the shower head and hook it up there. You could also just do this outside during warmer months. Once both plates have been thoroughly cleaned, leave them upright to air dry. Do not rub with paper towels, rags, newsprint, or anything else because it may deposit light blocking lint or residue. This is what a plate looks like when it needs to be grained some more. Notice how the edge is less opaque. This white line is caused by residual carborundum. It could block light and appear on the exposed plate as a gray mark. To remove it, just wash with water. When finished, you will have a beautiful surface ready for drawing.